We are back again and this time we are going to be doing my trouser and jumpsuit collection and we're doing those two things at the same time because both of those categories are fairly small. This is a pair of the kind of like wrap around trousers i made them to replace an amazing pair that i had that were just too short for me i'd got those from camden market as well i love these but they are basically see-through so these are definitely a beach cover-up i should live with my bikinis and beach cover-ups because that's the only time that this is going to get worn because literally see-through these are staying i love these and i do have a pair of black ones which I love and I did make the waistband on these longer and I made it so that they both tied at the front because with the white ones one tied at the back one tied at the front I find that a little uncomfortable to sit back on so these ones are my kind of like favorite and I do wear these during the summer very loungy very comfortable I like these a lot not rolling out making more and I made a pair out of this border print with a stripe running down one of the selvages of the fabric. I really like how these come out. There is a matching top, which I'm definitely going to keep. These are definitely not my colours. They're very autumn winter colours. It's much more mum, and I have bought mum some of this fabric. But I absolutely love how these trousers have turned out, and I am 100% keeping them. So, next up, I think I have... One, I think I have one more pair of me made trousers that I'm not sure if I can get into or not, and then it's all ready to wear. So let's have a look at those. I am genuinely amazed that I can get done up, <laughs> but they are sitting slightly lower waisted than I like, and they are tight in the crotch area. So, whilst they are awesomely wide legged and they are made from a vintage Vogue, well, not vintage Vogue, a 90s Vogue pattern, and I love them and have worn them in the past, I'm gonna let these ones go. Somebody else deserves to have these because they are just not right for me. And what I like to wear now. Okay, so um, three pairs of me made trousers. Now on to the ready to wear. Can I get out of these? Possibly not. Okay, these ones are super, super comfortable. They are a viscose. I got them from Next. It was a jumpsuit and I took the bib off because it was a backless jumpsuit and I was never going to wear it like that. I uh, don't know how I feel about how they look but they are comfy and they are floaty so I will keep them. I'm just not sure how often I would wear them other than to kind of like a lounge around the house in the warmer months. So yes, keeping, not sure I love them. Oh wow, okay, I haven't been able to get into these for ages. These are from Next. I really like the stripe detail down the side. Again, they are definitely more mum's kind of colours than they are mine. I would let mum try these on but I don't think that they would be short enough for her although there's quite a big black border at the bottom she might be able to hem them. I don't know I just I don't feel great in these. I've kept them for so long because I just love the print but again the print's not the right colour for me they're black. They don't fit me the way that I like trousers to fit me. It's like those last ones they're really just kind of for lounging around the house. Those ones were viscose these ones feel like polyester so I'm thinking these need to go. Okay these are the new jeans that I got from Next. They're by a company called Own. I have this style in this kind of like I don't know if it's going to show up, but they're sort of shimmery blue, which is very funky. Not your standard blue jeans. And then I also bought them in black because standard black jeans are always going to be helpful. Now, I do have these two pairs of next jeans that I also have in a blue colorway and I know these are both huge on me and it's really hard jeans getting jeans on and off is a pain in the proverbial. So I'm going to put both of these away in my too big box for future proofing the wardrobe because I know that they are just they're comfy around the butt and the legs but they're way too big at the waist and we all know how I feel about that and these ones fit me pretty nicely at the waist if they're slightly short waisted for me which is which is only slightly but yeah these two can go away so two to be put away yes now I do have one more pair of jeans I'm going to try on because it's this brand but a different style and I have got the tags on them still, so I might still send them back. You'll have to let me know what you think. Two secs. Uh, these ones are slightly more traumatic to get into. So the other two 
skinny jeans have a different fly system where they have two buttons on them which makes the fly longer so these fit and they fit comfortably and i really like how they look but they only have one button at the fly and the zip which means that the fly is shorter which means I really have to wiggle to get in and out of these. And whilst that's okay, if you have to do it like once a day to get in and then out, fine. But if you need to go to the bathroom, not the best. But again, they fit really nicely at the waist. They fit really nicely over the hips. I like that they're slightly boot cut or flared, I think these ones are. High waist, wide leg, that's what they're called. Like I said, I've still got the tags on because I'm not 100% sure about these because of the getting in and out of them. But I do really like how they look. I kind of want to keep them. What do you guys think? Let me know in the comments down below. I need to learn to make my own jeans, don't I? <laughs> okay, so out of that lot, we are getting rid of two pairs of trousers. So we are keeping three pairs of the Thai Fisherman wraparound trousers because they are awesome and comfortable and I like wearing them in the heat. One pair of wide-legged viscose trousers for slouching around at home when my jogging bottoms will be too heavy. Three pairs of ready-to-wear jeans, which are all from the brand OWN. And then putting away two pairs of jeans for future-proofing the wardrobe. Not bad. Let's move on to jumpsuits. Okay, so we have done jeans, we have done trousers, and now we're going to move on to jumpsuits, of which I have quite a few. Majority of them are Sirocco's. There are two beach pyjamas and one 8009. I think that's the right number. So let's try those on and see which ones I'm going to keep, if any, and which ones don't quite work for me anymore. First up, the 8009. I have done a sew along for this one. I do like this, but oh my goodness, is it cleavage-tastic. I have it currently gathered in at the ankles, and I have got it so that I can either wear it like this or wear it with the legs completely billowing and wide-legged at the bottom. I like both. The waist is in an odd place on this one. It's an inch above like the natural waist, or the bottom of the midriff panel is at the, an inch above the natural waist. I think I would prefer this if it sat on my natural waist, but do you know what? I don't think I love this enough, and because of the plunging neckline, I don't think I would go back and make this again. I'm going to keep it because I do like it, but it's going to be one of those ones that's kept to be worn around the house in the really hot months because it is really kind of blousy and not tight in any way, which is nice and something you do want in high heat. I might take it to somewhere like Kuala Lumpur with me if I do get to go and see my brother because my sister-in-law has advised me not to have anything that's too tight around the waist. So I'm going to keep this one, but I won't make this pattern again. This is nice, but not for me. Till the sun goes down, beach pyjamas. I absolutely love these. I did actually make these to wear on Christmas Day and they were great because you can uh, tighten or loosen the ties around the waist depending on how much Christmas dinner you've eaten. I love this print as you guys know and so these ones are definitely staying and I will be wearing them over the warm months. I also have this pair, which I absolutely love. It's a red, grey, black and kind of like ivory colour leafy print, so of course I like it. Definitely wouldn't buy this print again because I don't think the colours are perfect for me, but I think I get away with it because of the bright pop, pop of red. And again, super, super comfortable. Will 100% make more of these beach pyjamas if the right fabric comes across my path because they are awesome. Okay, now it's all the knits. The Dear and Dose Rocco. I made this during knit miss last year i absolutely love this one this is very very comfortable this is the only one that i've got in a cotton jersey the rest are all french terry i do think i can get away with wearing this one into the slightly hotter months of the year and it's really pretty and bright and colorful and it makes me very happy this one's staying similar color palette french terry so slightly thicker love this one we'll also keep this one this is a mystery knit from the gold hawk road one of the things I like about these jumpsuits is I can wear this with high heels and some chunky jewellery and wear it and feel comfortable on a night out. But if I put it with flats and more laid back, paired back jewellery, I would happily wear this during the day as well. I do love the Sirocco's. I'm going to try not to buy too much more fabric 
because I have so many of them I don't need any more of them but they are awesome and you can if you're very careful squeeze one out of two and a half meters of fabric three of his directional print another Knitmas creation I love how this has turned out this fabric was a very kind gift from the very lovely Alex technically because of the black background I don't think it's my color but with all the bright colors in it I think I get away with it and I tend to wear it with bright cardigans over the top which make it work in my opinion this one is staying another Sirocco this one is French Terry from Lily and Mimi uh, I really like how this one has turned out it is a little low in the crotch I have amended that for the other ones that you've seen I do still wear this one I think it's really comfortable I really like it again very autumnal colors but I think I get away with it and again if I wear it with like my sort of like coppery colored cardigans which I do and my orange cardigan which is very bright I think it kind of makes it work for me this one's staying last Sirocco but definitely not the least it's my leafy French terry one I absolutely love this I am so glad that I held onto this fabric for as long as I did and made this with it because I absolutely adore it and I do wear it an awful lot I really love the colors on this one even with the black background yeah very very pleased with this one I do have one jumpsuit left it is ready to wear let's have a look at it yes it's a onesie yes I have ears and a tail it totally freaks Chiana out when I wear this thing actually I'm kind of surprised that it fits again I usually wear this in the winter obviously and I am going to keep it because it is toasty warm it has ears and it's very fluffy so I have one ready to wear which is staying six knit jumpsuits which are all staying and three woven jumpsuits I think I'm going to go get rid of this one I think I'm going to pass this on to another home I've been thinking about it I'm really not going to wear this I love the colors I love the print I don't love the style the waist is in the wrong place it's too cleavage tastic and whilst yes it is the kind of thing that would be comfortable to wear in high high heat I have dresses that I prefer and reach for over this so somebody else gets to love this so two woven jumpsuits that are staying all in all i don't think that's too bad i definitely prefer wearing dresses and skirts over trousers and jumpsuits and i don't think that i need very many more of these i think i do have quite a lot of jumpsuit patterns but we will be seeing that in the pattern collection coming soon i can imagine making more of these i can definitely imagine making more sirocco's maybe i will branch out into other patterns but i do think i'd prefer to make myself dresses i'm really enjoying the experience of cleaning out my wardrobe I'm not sure I can take myself for all you seriously whilst I am dressed like a giant teddy bear but if you have enjoyed this video and want to see more in the series you might want to check out this video here